is by Dove and Dove came out with a, another line called Dove Body Love. It's a pampering line. You give your skin extra care and I really like that they have something for every little um, issue. So the first product that I picked up was Dove Body Love Moisture Boost and this is the Hyaluronic Serum with Moringa and this is a moisturizing body cleanser up was Dove Body Love Sun Rehydrate and this one has vitamin E serum in it and olive and this is a rehydrating body cleanser. Next thing I picked up was my original scent that I like to use which was the Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash. I picked up two of these. Next thing I picked up was Dove Hair Therapy Care. And then this one is Hydration Spa Conditioner and it has Aluronic Serum in it and this is their other hair care line. I couldn't find the shampoo to this but I have con I already have shampoo so I'll just use that until I do find that they have a shampoo. The next thing I picked up was a, another Dove Hair Therapy. This one is a conditioner as well and it's called Strength and Fullness Boost. This one is a serum plus retinol. The next thing I picked up was a bigger bottle to the original Dove scent of the body wash and it looks like this. The next thing I picked up was this Dove Body Love Intense Cure Lotion and it looks like this. The next thing I picked up was the Dove Body Love Restoring Care Lotion and it looks like this. And then the other stuff that I picked up aren't here yet, but I had to get them on Amazon. Next thing I picked up was the Dove Body Love Pre-Cleansing Shower Butter, and it looks like this. I couldn't find this at Walmart, but I really wanted to try it out because it's really nice that they have a pre-cleanser in the shower. I do a body wash, then I do a exfoliant scrub with gloves or cloth, and then a bath oil. And then I get out the shower. I can't wait to use that because that's going to be interesting. A pre-cleanser. I never heard of that before. Next thing I did get was the Dove Body Love Radiance Renew Vitamin C Serum. Looks like this. These are all cleansers. So just letting you guys know. Next thing I picked up was the Dove Body Love Acne Seracilic Acid, I think. Seracilic something is in there sarasilic acid something like that but it's good for acne and i really suffer with acne scarring at my back so i really wanted to try that one out next thing i picked up was a exfoliating gloves because whenever i like to shower i like to exfoliate at least three times a week in the shower and this is very important it's not only that you go in the shower and you use a body wash and that's it um, you need to also exfoliate your dead skin off. I have different exfoliants that I use with gloves or with cloths. So I did purchase gloves and then I also purchased a cloth that's very, very rough really because I like to get the dead skin off like vigorously. I'm not really sensitive um, in that matter to use rough cloths to um, exfoliate or rough scrubs. But my face, I obviously have to use a moderate to gentle scrub for my face if I am using one for the face. So the next thing I purchased was the Exfoliating by Dove Body Polish Crush Almond and Mango Butter. This one is a moderate body scrub. It looks like that. And, and this is what I would use with a gloves or a cloth. Really scrub and really scrub it all over. To get the dead skin off i really love this smell it smells exactly like mango literally when you're smelling the mango before you cut it that's what this imitates i just want to eat this it's not edible actually this product is sulfate free if any of you guys are wondering next thing i purchased was the dr bronner's caskiel soap and i got the unscented one um this is very good for a squeaky squeaky clean i got them from amazon i always buy the two pack ones this is great when you're washing your fronts and your backsides um it doesn't 
irritate it or throw off your pH. Very good. And they have different scents of Castile soap, which you wouldn't use down there. But for the rest of the body, you can use. And I also enjoy using them as well. Now, they also have the bar soaps, which I like to use too. Um, I keep the unscented bar soaps for the front. So, for your cloth, everyone should have different cloths for different things that you're going to be using for your body. So, if you're using... So your washcloth that you wash your body is not the same washcloth you're going to use to wash your front. Like you have to use a different washcloth. And also your backside needs a different washcloth. Your armpit needs a different washcloth and your foot bottom needs a different washcloth. The way that I do it is I have different colors of different washcloths. So I know which color is for what area and I memorized it so I'm not going to mix up and use the wrong washcloth in the wrong area or at the wrong time if you don't do that you should start doing that and then it'll be better for you because you could keep certain areas not infected with getting bacteria that's not supposed to be there in certain areas so that's what i do and the next product i did end up purchasing was the dove exfoliating rice milk and macadamia that one is another scrub that would be in this container but it's in a blue top and a white uh, custard looking product but it's um it's great so that's why i purchased as well it's just coming in the mail it's taking way too long so i'm like let me just do this video and get it out the way because i have other videos to do like throughout the rest of the month so i need to get this out the way even though i never had all the products here at once but we're still gonna do it with pictures so the last thing i did end up getting was the dr teal's bedtime lotion this is in the scent it's the bedtime melatonin lotion they have one for kids and they have one for adults you'll see the difference it is great to help you fall asleep because melatonin is a sleep regulator uh, the brain already naturally um, produces this but it's great to have it to help it um, produce regularly so especially when you have a hard time falling asleep it's great to take melatonin two hours before bedtime um, but this is a really nice lotion because if you take evening showers or night showers this is great to like use before going to bed so this is why i like using this one uh, for bedtime so that's everything i had for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that bell not notification so you won't miss an upload for me next time and I know I am going to come out with more videos after school's done, after it's done, believe me. I'm going to be coming out with videos twice a week. So I'm not, I, the only excuse I have right now is working long hours and also I have school and other important things. But I'm definitely going to be very regular on YouTube. So just wait and see. But you have to be subscribed. Like it's so disrespectful not to be subscribed. How dare you? So. <laughs>